There's lots of methane around the globe. Australia's got quite a lot. Gulf states have got quite a lot. And you may have seen liquefied natural gas, which is where methane is condensed, cooled and condensed, and then shipped to perhaps the UK or like Wales, where there's a rather large um, liquid natural gas terminal. So simple combustion. We're going to use a Bunsen burner. I just need to light it. So you can see the methane's burning quite nicely in the atmospheric air, and you're getting this rather nice incandescent flame. Okay. Now, there's lots of chemistry inside a flame, but that's not really the topic of this video. But there's two types of flame that we can use in a, in a, with a Bunsen burner. This is what we call a luminous or a yellow flame, which isn't very hot. Okay. Now, if you open the bottom of the chimney of our Bunsen burner, you put more air into the flame. It's drawn in as the, as the methane gas flies up through the chimney and you get a much more efficient burning. And this is what we call a blue flame. And there are two main regions in this blue flame. You see a cone in the middle and then a, an incandescent area around the outside. So these have names. The one in the middle, the cone, is called the pyrolysis zone. And then the outer part of the flame is called the combustion zone. And the hottest part of the Bunsen burner flame, if you're using it to perhaps heat metal or perhaps do a chemical reaction with it, is the tip of the blue flame where you start to go into the combustion zone. So there we see simple combustion of methane in the air. Now, it's at this point where most of the older people like me might remember the first chemical reaction or the first, let's say, naughty chemical reaction they ever did, which was to set fire to the gas taps. So let's do that experiment again. And here again, you can see I've set fire to my gas tap, but I've got a luminescent flame. So they're a really quite wonderful gas flame, which you may see burning from the tops of perhaps refineries. Okay, so let's turn that gas off.